Protecting the environment is important for sustainability for future generations with climate change proving a challenge, bringing extreme weather events. Jonathan Oppenheimer of the Oppenheimer Generation's Philanthropies says there should be robust boundaries about solid, liquid and gaseous waste in a quest to protect the environment. I think that the world today is inclined towards a tick box exercise with a whole bunch of unintended consequences instead of actually a, a process which says these are the boundaries which you need to respect. If you don't respect them, woe betide you, the capital investor, the operator, whomever it happens to be. And I think that if we can get back to a world which encourages, accepts and, and welcomes capital, gives capital that return, but also has those very, very strong boundaries with a serious and meaningful um, punishment around the boundaries, while leaving the space to innovate and evolve within that space, then I think we'll have a vibrant, prosperous economy. Dr. Lova Marlin has been awarded a $150,000 US dollars grant by the Geneva Ward Oppenheimer Research Grant to study a species of plant called the bryophytes or mosses. She says the plant does not have roots and they collect all their nutrients directly from the atmosphere, like water droplets. Dr. Marlin says these plants are a good bioindicator of climate change and an indicator of the state of the environment they are in. In Madagascar, we have a really bad air pollution, in, especially in the capital. And also in some of the rainforest, although you think that the air would be clean there, it turns out it's not that clean. And so I'm going to look at what is the source of air pollution in Madagascar and also um, what's the impact of air pollution on biodiversity. Malin says air pollution can be damaging to human health and adds to global warming by increasing the level of gases that trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere.